the first person that that uh, was actually cast um, as uh, Quasimodo was Meatloaf. Really? <laughs> yep. He was not. He wasn't cast. He read for it, right? Well, got you know, that's actually a really good question. I mean, he was. I, I, he was like. He was like an almost cast. It was like right. a callback kind of kind right. of thing. I remember. I don't think we actually put pen to paper. Yeah, I think that's true. I think I think there was never a signed contract, but we got so far as to meet with Meatloaf at uh, a recording studio um, yeah. off Santa Monica Boulevard, and um, I think Alan was there, and yeah. we talked. We talked with Meatloaf. Uh, uh, he actually ran through out there uh, Quasimodo's song. Wow! Um, and he was times. really good. Yeah, he was terrific. He was really good. Was was, I mean, it was it was far along in the process, you know, like like almost cast to the point where Kirk and I were asking each other, you know, like on the way back to the car, it's like, okay, so do we call him Meat or Mister Loaf or what do we call him? <laughs> And you talked to Mandy Patinkin, too, about Hunchback, right? Oh, yes, God. In one of our uh, uh, casting sessions in New York, uh, Mandy Patinkin came in um, and actually uh, read for the part. And, um, again, Mandy Patinkin, amazing actor, incredible career, big fan, disastrous audition. Really? <laughs> and I'll let Gary he take brought, brought his own. He brought his own accompanist. <laughs> I mean, we had, we had a guy there. Who was you know he, he would he was on the piano and everybody that came in and sang he supplied the music, so his his accompanist had rearranged the song, and this is what Stephen Schwartz Alan this and Stephen Stephen Schwartz like, in the room, <laughs> in the room he says oh yes well we we took the liberty of rearranging your song so so yeah, yeah. and so so they they played it and Kirk and I were like. <laughs> and you could see, you could see um, Alan and oh, Steven man. just like like Steve. turning red and yeah, levitating, just like, and you know, like the room behind him is getting dark, and it was just like, <laughs> okay, this and and when he finished with the song, and I can't remember who it was, but like like almost immediately they said, um, Kirk and Gary, you guys want to step outside, and we're like. Uh, okay, it, we went uh, outside. Right. <laughs> we went outside, and then there was an argument that went on yeah. inside. We, you know, we, there there was just. Uh, uh, I'll back up just a little bit because this this part's kind of funny. Um, uh, uh, we could hear like sort of a sort of a animated, so to speak, discussion happening on the other side of the door while we were in the yeah. hall, and then Mandy Batankin came back out ostensibly to work with us. Yeah. On a little bit of the dialogue. He was going to read a dialogue scene because he hadn't yet for, for the move. For the, for right, his right, right. So we were supposed to give him some feedback and talk a little about the character. So Mandy's very, you know, he's very gracious with us and he's talking to us and he's kind of nodding and, and, and you know, he's, he's sort of a little bit, a bit intense. Then like, like in mid-sentence, like Gary and I were talking and, and at one point Mandy just goes, guys, I'm really sorry. I can't do this. And he turns on his heel and he goes back into the room and shuts the door. And then the fireworks really started. <laughs> I mean, you know, the wall shook. Yeah. <laughs> the, the engineer and the, and the casting director came out, you know, into the hall with us. And they're like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, Mandy chewed out Stephen so bad that, that Stephen was so pissed, he got up and left. So Stephen gets in the elevator and he's gone. And, and he's gone. He's like putting on his coat, and putting yeah. on his scarf, and he's out of here. And then yeah. Alan and, has to go. And Alan's like, I gotta go. I gotta go get him. So Alan puts on his coat and his scarf, and he's in the elevator, and he's out of here. So now so we've lost, and we and lost like, Alan, and we've lost Stephen. And we're sitting, we're sitting happened? there in this right. We're sitting there in this kind of smoking crater of a, of a rehearsal room studio, going, "What the hell just happened?" <laughs> Which we have, have since called the Patankin in incident. So yes. <laughs> many drawings were made about the subject after. Oh the yeah.